first and foremost, I lead by examples. If you want your opposition to follow you, you must do the right thing and do, you know, what is right. If you say, well, you want to resume by 8 o'clock, as a leader, you must be there even before 8 o'clock yeah. to, to show them that you are a good leader and by example. That's number one. Number two, if there's a There's a rule that is uh, is been, you know, uh, is gone against. You just have to punish the person, follow the you know, the rules and regulations of the organization. So by that, you'll be able to convince them that well, they shouldn't, you know, do what they ought not to do. So by example, and by instilling. You know, discipline. That's what I'm saying. You know, uh, in, discipline is very important in an organization. Mm -hmm. If somebody commits an uh, an offense, you know, and when you want to punish again, you must uh, do it at the appropriate time. You see, uh, for example, if somebody commits an offense, you don't have to really wait uh, a long time before. Uh, an action is taken. So, by that, you are trying to really show them that, you know, the organization is meant for an objective. Mm -hmm. And that if uh, that objective is, is going to really be attained, then discipline must be made. Mm -hmm. You know, then good examples. Uh, then, uh, I think, uh, then you have to motivate see when whether it is in the opposition or not i think uh, motivation is very important in an organization yeah. so if you motivate people adequately and, uh, definitely you'll be able to really do wonders for you mm -hmm. so uh, i think uh, and uh, all these things uh, seem to be lacking some organizations.